What is up, family? It's the Budget Base here. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, what you guys are looking at is a T-line enclosure that I built quite some time ago. I did promise you guys an update on it, and that's kind of like what I'm doing right now. I did build this for my 8-inch Dayton Audio reference speaker. This is from their HF series. This is tuned down to, I believe, 27 hertz. I do have the formula uploaded. You can check that in my archives. This is the port opening. And I don't know if you guys can still see the schematics on this guy or not, but that's it right there. This is the loading. This is where it loads. The line goes from here, here, and then out to here. That's pretty much what you guys, what I'm working with right now. So that's it. Not much to see with a T line. You got a where the speaker house is at, and then you got an opening. T lines are pretty boring in that regard. Unless you build a beauty panel for them, then they look pretty good. Lo and behold, what do I have here? Let's see. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this on here for you guys. And voila. The making of a beauty panel. You guys see that? Got the chamfered edges on them. Nowhere near finished right now. That all has to, that still needs to be sanded and everything. It's nowhere near finished. But it's coming together quite nicely. You know what to make that look even a little bit better though? Because right now all you got is some recessed edges. That's it. But if you put some geometric shapes in there, right? Add some geometry to it, it looks a little bit better. At least in my opinion. Maybe if you add a second one, right? Maybe that'll look a little bit better. Now it doesn't look as boring, right? That classical T-line boredom. So, that's what I'm working with for now. I'm thinking about also doing a beauty panel for the top, but where I'm gonna be having this guy at, the top or the sides in this case, it's not even gonna be seen, so I don't wanna waste it. Like, if you were installing this into like an SUV or maybe a trunk that's big enough for it, then maybe you can do something on the top as well. I don't know, put your car's logo on there or something. Maybe you got a brand. Put your branding on top of it in, you know, some raised letterings or something. Kind of like that. But since only the front of this guy is going to be shown, is the reason why I did that. Chamfered edges, chamfered edges on the geometrical shapes, and a recess opening for the subwoofer. Pretty simple stuff, actually. I'm going to get this carpeted. I may paint it. I don't know. I think carpet would be best. I think that's what I'm going to go with. And in this case, if you guys are wondering what would be best, carpet or paint, it's all up to your imagination what you like. In my case, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is probably carpeting the body of it or the the, uh, the box itself and the beauty panel, making it a different texture. I don't know, do maybe some bed liner, not bed liner, I'm sorry, some uh, carpet, regular car, auto carpet on the, uh, on the box and the beauty panel could be, I don't know, some type of leather material or something like that. I don't know. It's the, the imagination is your limit. So what you what you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. How should I dress this up? The panel is already done. All it needs now is to be wrapped in something. So leave a comment in the section below. What would you guys do? For all the new guys, if this is your first time Visiting the channel, welcome to the family. This is the type of stuff that we do over here on the channel. We do DIY bills, we do product reviews, and pretty much anything that's dealing with someone who has a love for music and sound. So if you like that type of things, if you're into that type of thing, then consider clicking the notification bell after you subscribe. 
or just share the video with a friend or family member who may also get a kick out of this. But anyway, that's enough for now. Until next time, it's your boy D, and I'm out.